love a little bit of eyeliner. It's not too much, it's not too little, it's just enough. Everybody wanted some, everybody wanted some. ribbon in the bottom Love whipped up in two seconds perfect yeah. little undone little knot you know it's like as if we did it ourselves but I can't braid hair so you know he did it for me the first one is a white dress it's very flat with black lining around it Second one, one sleeve, sleeve on the left arm, goes a harness. It's almost like a gun holster but without, you know, the gun or the bit to hold one. Julian, what would be the house of your dreams? Well, I'm in the middle of trying, wanting to buy a place in Sydney, so that's actually re quite relevant. My only requirement is to have a backyard large enough to have a fire pit and an inflatable pool. Those are my two things. Why inflatable? <laughs> because I don't actually swim that often. I have an irrational fear of water. But summertime, have a little splash in the kiddie pool, hop out, deflate, you know, it's good. <laughs> you think you breathe, you think you're working on the red line. But you're wrapped up in your own sanity and it's so cold. Yeah. Water, um, public humiliation, but that's kind of for everybody. Um, Why, have you ever been humiliated in public? No, I'm just terrified that it could happen one day. <laughs> oh, I mean, you know, every, everyone's been humiliated in public. That's what high school was all about. But <laughs> What do you mean? Yeah, there was, uh, was there any of that? You know, just falling down in front of people. Touch wood, I've never... Oh, where is some wood to touch? Yeah, touch that wood, honey, because yeah. knock on wood. Yeah. Um, yeah, never fallen in a show, but I have definitely fallen in public in many other places. Um, I just just last night at a fitting of mine, I walked into a shelf, and I still have a lump on my head. So. You gotta be choking. No, it's a little tender. Oh wow, that hurts. <laughs> what happened? You you tripped? You didn't see something? Yeah, I was somewhat oblivious to the giant piece of metal sticking out of the wall and And what, you were walking at that moment? Or was just Yeah, snap? no, I just like I tried on some clothes, was walking back to get dressed afterwards and in the way I just hit it. You know, it happens. fantasy place yeah. how would you imagine it um I don't know I like I always like things to be a little bit run down I don't like perfect super nice places so, you know I like it a house that has character that's had a few other people living in it beforehand and then you know clean it up obviously but just I like it yeah every corner having a different story I like that What kind of music are you listening to now? I still, of course, listen to all of the things that I used to listen to, but I suppose living with a DJ does open your mind up a little bit to more dancey type things, but I I don't know. I like a lot of bass, but I don't like drum and bass. That's a touch ironic, but um, yeah, I just... Music that you can feel, it doesn't really matter. You know, I like classical, I like rock, I like jazz, I like whatever, just so long as you can feel it. That's the most important thing. So if I dig it, I dig it. Don't say maybe, don't say no. You 
You like to cook sweets, right? Yeah, I like to bake. Tell me about your baking. Give me one little baking recipe. I'm a big fan of banana bread. Banana bread is always a good, because I always buy bananas and then forget about them and don't eat them and then they go bad and then it's perfect for banana bread. So <laughs> I do that quite often, actually. Um, otherwise, yeah, I just make sugar cookies all the time. Just, or, or shortbread, shortbread's an, another good one. Just use icing sugar instead of normal sugar for it. And yeah. Yes, do it now, let yourself go. times I get to actually stop, have lunch in the middle of the day, it's a good one. Although here I, I brought a whole lot of snacks because the catering is always terrible. So, so I've got my own ones, including bananas, so I guess I might be making banana bread soon. <laughs> vegetarian right yeah. why is it so important to eat well today because otherwise you just feel terrible inside that was the thing like for the first two years of living in New York I had delivery every night didn't care terrible food now I mean it's not as if my food is particularly healthy that I have I'm still having like pasta and like big bakes and all of that kind of stuff every night but at least you know I've made it I've known I know what's gone into it I know all of that and that's that I don't know, world of difference. I get just a mic up floating, got my voice in stereo. Feels you like it's a game. I get what do you think is something really important for the future of the world? Just everyone needs to chill out and quit taking things so seriously and just open their minds a little bit. Because then, I mean, obviously, racial discrimination, open mind. No, no longer an issue. Homophobia, open mind, no longer an issue. You know, religious things, open mind, no longer an issue. Just open your mind up, you're good to go. Oh, you 